Oh, wait, so this works now? Wait a minute. No way. I refuse to believe that this thing finally works. I sat here and I was messing around with it for like half an hour and then it didn't work. And then I was like, well, maybe it's just completely busted. But apparently now it works. So, uh, whatever. At this point, I don't even really care. So, anyways. Back to back to the, the, whole, the whole segment. If you were able to find it, I'm first of all, I'm proud of you. And secondly, thanks for coming to the stream. I know, it was weird. So, like, the way that YouTube is set up, for some reason... It would not let my stream come through. It was like excellent connection. I went through all of the, the hoops that they wanted me to, and it just didn't work. Maybe that's just the curse of me being able to stream on a platform. I guess we'll never really know. But today, I have something very special for us to talk about, and it's relating to the original video. And it is about the Steam Deck. The, the greatest handheld of all time, the Gabe Gear. The, uh, the, the, <laughs> the Gabe Cube, it's whatever you want to call it. It is one of the better devices, at least on paper. And I personally can't wait. I got it pre-ordered. And after about 30 minutes of me smashing away at the F5 key, I was able to secure one. But don't worry, this is about to be the most bland thing you've ever seen. This entire, whatever this is. I promise that I, I went through and I double checked everything. Everything should work. Hopefully it does. I have no idea. But that's why we're here to stream, to have a beautiful stream. And if it sounds quiet, don't worry. It's kind of my fault, but also not really. But just take with it what you can get. This is the first video, and it's called Five Reasons Not to Buy the Steam Deck. We can't let Griffin have all of the fun, so that's why I came here, to do this instead. I've been watching a lot of videos about this new Steam Deck, which is coming out soon, and I have a few things to say about it. And Everyone has a few things to say about the Steam Deck. I feel like the competitors don't understand that the Steam Deck isn't there to make them feel bad. It's to be something like an accessory to your PC. So if you already have a PC and you're playing all of your great games on Steam that are not Control, because Control is terrible, then you can play all of your games everywhere, wherever you go. And I think that that's one of the best things about the Steam Deck, to be honest with you. And maybe I'm just wrong, but at this point, I, I you just you gotta take with it whatever it is, it's great. And they're not very positive. And in case you didn't know what the Steam Deck is, it's a new gaming console from Valve, and it's supposed to be like a handheld Switch thing, which is supposed to be better than the Switch. Because it's not supposed to be. It is better. I, I don't know what he was really expecting, but it literally is better than the Switch. Because it's like a proper computer, but in the form of a Switch handheld portable console. So, on paper, it sounds pretty cool, but in reality, I think it's going to be a bit of a flop. You know, <laughs> he's not the only one to have this opinion of the Steam Deck just being terrible. I don't know why, but it seems like the Nintendo fanboys are the only ones that feel like this is going to be a flop. The people that tell you how good Nintendo first-party titles are, and how you should just have a Switch so you can play your games anywhere fail to see any kind of real benefit in the Steam Deck. They always default over to something like, well, we'll just get yourself a laptop, a gaming laptop to haul around instead. And why would I do that if I have a handy portable device? That's why. Now, maybe I'm a bit biased because I am an avid Switch Lite user and- Well, that explains everything. He loves his Nintendo Switch. But what I don't kind of understand is why the Nintendo Switch people feel like this is going to take away their Nintendo Switch. And I love playing Mario Kart on it and a few other games. But I'm also a bit of a PC gamer. When I'm back home, I have a PC desktop setup and I play Rainbow Six on it, mainly Rainbow Six. Playing Rainbow Six in current years is kind of weird. I didn't think that that would be a thing. And 
I can kind of switch between being a PC gamer and being a Switch gamer when I'm traveling. I used to have several gaming laptops to play Rainbow Six when I- Several gaming laptops? What is this guy doing? I traveled. And I decided to ditch the gaming laptops because they were too heavy, too bulky to fit in my bag. And it just took up too much space and it made my back hurt. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can just imagine this dude. For some reason, I can imagine him just, you know, slopping it into his little backpack. And then he's like, oh man, this, this is just too heavy. I, I gotta leave this at home. But you kind of make that distinction whenever you go somewhere, you know what I mean? Whenever you go out to a place and you know that your laptop is big and bulky, why would you carry it around? I, this seems very counterintuitive to me. Well, wouldn't a Steam Deck solve that problem? Because it's going to be much, much smaller than a gaming laptop. Plus, you can play Rainbow Six on it. Oh man, all of these statements are true. You can play your shooty gun game and you can take it on the go with you. That sounds like a win-win from all angles. I don't see why this would be a negative. And even though that sounds great and everything, um, I just, I don't think I would want to play Rainbow Six on a handheld. I Sorry, I had to get that last little part in there. Then don't. You don't have to play Rainbow Six on this thing? I don't, I don't know why this is a thing. <laughs> why does he do this to, to everyone? Oh, hey, look at... Um, I gotta do, like, my, my favorite DSP impression, okay? I hope you're ready. Uh, I got a $10 super chat from I Love Anime and Real Life Feet. It's a pretty weird name. And he says, Gatekeeper's anime is like gatekeeping video games. Also, Katakawa President is done. You know, I saw that story. And I immediately said to myself, well, there's just no way that he's going to keep this same energy, is he? And, you know, sure enough, he didn't. The poor man. All he had to do was just not make a weird statement about censoring things for the West, and I think he would have been fine. But here we are in current year, after, um, well, I guess it's not after, because hashtag COVID is real still. I can say that on stream, right? I just can't imagine how horrible the controls must be using those little thumbsticks and the little trackpad things, which I've never used a Steam controller before, so I don't understand this whole trackpad thing, but... You don't use the trackpads then? Listen, I know that <laughs> Nintendo fanboys don't have necessarily the biggest of brains, but let me go ahead and fill you in on a little secret here. You don't have to use the trackpads. You can use a mouse and keyboard. You can get like a little tiny Bluetooth one and carry it around with you, or you can use the controls. I, I mean, sometimes, or at least um, in my limited experience playing video games, a lot of first person shooters are actually using controller now as like the main thing to do because mouse and keyboard, like, they're just not supporting it like that, which is weird when you think about it because it's like, those are the most accurate. I can't imagine a trackpad being any good for aiming a weapon. When I play Rainbow Six or PC games in general, I want to play keyboard and mouse. I don't want to play with a little thumbstick controller thing. Then I I'm still grappling with this for some reason. All he has to do is plug it in. The great thing about the Switch. <laughs> or just Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth on it. It could just Bluetooth the... I don't know. I'm just thinking too, too deep into this. Is The games on it are mostly casual games like Mario Kart. Very simple game. You don't really need complex control systems. You just hold the accelerator, you got the boost button, you got the brake button. That's it. It's fine. What is he What is he playing that he thinks that this is a thing? For controller gameplay. But then when you got complex PC games like Rainbow Six, I just can't imagine having fun playing that game without a keyboard and mouse. Then attach one. It's really simple. <laughs> All he has to do is attach one. Thank you. I love anime and real life feet for the for the premium tier one. Listen, when I had to put in the tiers, you guys are gonna love this story. Not really. When I had to put in tiers for the for the join button. They were like, make sure you make something different for all of them. And in my biggest of brains, I said, 
that sounds great, but everybody should get the same thing. It's just, you know, if you want to pay a dollar, then just pay a dollar. If you want to pay, I think the highest one's 25. If you want to pay 25, then you can do that one too. It doesn't matter. But I kind of halfway just, I've been slacking on it. I plan to do more streams. I just don't want to be the YouTuber that like, obviously, let's just be real here. This is a dead channel, but we can still have fun with streaming and then keep the streams on the archiver and then keep this clear for videos, which the other one should come out. I don't know. I'll actually have it written down. And yeah, you can use a keyboard and mouse and also a monitor with the Steam Deck. Well, there you go. Problem solved. We did it, guys. But then I have to carry a keyboard and a mouse and the monitor or else I'm going to play on a little seven inch, eight inch screen that's on the Steam Deck, which is... <sighs> then, then that's... Uh, okay, just whatever. I, I can't, I can't logic with him right now. There's no such thing as logic happening. Just going to suck. Can you imagine getting a keyboard and a mouse and then setting up your Steam Deck on the table and then you're like hunched over staring at a tiny little eight inch screen with your... You know, I've heard this argument before, and it's very strange to me that we brought it back up. So, he's talking about, well, you get your mousey keyboard, but then you're hunched over and you have to look at this tiny screen. Well, what do you do with the Switch then? I mean, I guess you could say, well, I don't hunch over when I use it, but you, you kind of do, in a way? I, I don't know. But then again, it sounds like something like, oh, well, I want to play games on my couch. I don't want to have to sit at a desk and play games. This is the same thing. Same energy. And I love anime and real feet with the $5 that says porn will never be banned. And some conservatives will think anime is porn. They think a lot of things are. If it, if it has anything slightly revealing, they'll consider it anything that they want it to be. Listen, I don't have... Big mommy milkers, stop harassing me, guys, I promise. I'm not this way. Back aching? No. I guess if you're one of those people who desperately need to play some kind of PC-only game, then, yeah, you could get a mini keyboard and, like, a mini mouse, and then you can make, like, a little mini PC gaming setup. Wait, so I don't get this line of logic here. You remember, he said that he had a laptop for this, right? So if he had a laptop... Is he using the little trackpad on the laptop to play the game, or is he using a Bluetooth keyboard, or keyboard, a Bluetooth mouse? I would have to imagine that he has something external from the laptop itself to play a first-person shooter with it. Or maybe I'm just being stupid, who knows. That can fit in your backpack, and if that's what you want to do, then sure, go ahead. But for me personally, that just sounds really, really uncomfortable. Then don't buy it. I love the Switch because I can just lay back on my sofa, I can sit back on my bed and just, you know, hold the Switch right in front of my face with... These, we're, we're actually going into like these weird console peasant quotes. I know, I haven't said console peasant quotes before, or at least recently, but this is the exact same thing. We've only shifted from one piece of hardware to another. So before, if you remember, before it was, I don't want to sit in front of a desk, hunched over a mouse and keyboard playing video games. I want to sit on a couch and do it. And then Steam gave them a way to do so with the Steam Big Picture Mode. And they also gave them a little Steam Link device thing that you could just hook in. It's just HDMI. And there you go. You can stream your games from your, from your computer straight to your big TV. Or you can just hook up your PC to your TV. It kind of just works every single way. However, the new argument now is, well, I don't want to have to carry around all this other stuff to play my Steam Deck anywhere. Look at all of it. I don't want to have to use the, the trackpad. I want to lay in my bed and use them. All we've did is change out from one argument to another. And I don't know why he feels so threatened. He can still play his Nintendo Switch. It's not like Steam's coming in and they're saying, well, bro, you can't just play your video games. You got to submit. Play control on the go, you bigot. The seven inch screen isn't really that small because it's so close to my face, but if you're using keyboard and mouse with the Steam Deck, how close can you get to the screen? Bro, you can fucking tape it to yourself, I don't know. All you have to do... 
It's just, it's an eight inch screen. You're, I get it. It's because it's PC hardware. I forgot. You're going to have to be sitting on a chair at a table. No. Or prop it up, like set it up on a saucepan or on top of a pile of books. So it's a saucepan or a pile of books. I, I, I'm sorry, like, I'm just trying to process the, the the weird amount of goalpost moving we have to achieve here. Because we're moving things now to prop it up? Doesn't it have, like, a stand on it anyways? And it's, like, sturdy? But then, even, even then, let's just assume that you want to lay in bed and do this. Get one of those little laptop things that you, you usually would use for those. And you just put it on your lap. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too high tech. Maybe these are 3000 IQ plays and I haven't quite figured it out yet. Higher. How are you going to carry around a monitor if you're trapped? This is actually the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You know, at first I was like, you know what? I think he might be genuine. I think this is a troll video. Traveling and you're trying to travel light. You're not going to carry around a monitor, are you? <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. I I just imagine him walking around with like this big ass 4K monitor in his backpack. As a world traveler, I just don't... As a world traveler? So now he's flossing that he travels the world? See why I would want the Steam Deck over what I already have, the Switch Lite. Because it plays PC games. And it plays regular, it plays regular PC games. And it'll play your Switch games, but better. This thing is an emulation machine. It will fucking dominate. It will take everything that you love and it will crush it beneath it. Uh, hypothetically speaking, of course, but you get my drift. And because I have to switch lights, I feel like the switch lights is fine for what I want to do. I just want to play some casual gaming, do a couple hours here and there on Mario. Then why can't you do that with the Steam Deck? You know you can play casual games on the Steam Deck. You don't have to play Rainbow Six on it. Kart. I don't really want to get into ultra complex games or games where you really need a keyboard and mouse to have it. Then don't! You... This is a troll video. This has to be. This is the only thing I can think of, is that this has to be a troll video. Every time that I encounter something this stupid, I'm going to think it's a troll video on it like rainbow six to be competitive on rainbow six there's no way you could be competitive with the little trackpad and the joystick you know i i know that there's a video of this somewhere i'm going to go ahead and throw this out here on the universe so i could be wrong but there are people that are disabled and all they have are nubs instead of hands and they're working that shit and they're beating games like sekiro I don't want to hear about, well, you can't use these things to be competitive. Yeah, you can. You can get blown out of the water. And then how fun are games like Rainbow Six going to be? Why does he keep using this as an example? Does he not play any other game? Is Rainbow Six the only game that exists in his Steam library? When you can't win any games because you're using the stupid trackpad thingamajig. My point is, well, you won't be able to play the super hardcore PC games on it very efficiently. So you could say, well, you can just play casual games on the Steam Wow, someone probably told him this. Steam Deck, you can play stuff like, I don't know, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order or Cuphead or whatever. Yeah, but the thing is, a lot of casual games are already on the Switch. You we moved it again. The goalpost was moved gradually, but we got there. I don't want to play casual games. But you did on the Switch, though. It's pretty weird. Loads of casual games that have been ported over from the PC or the PS2 or the PS3. Or even the GameCube has um, game ports on the Switch. And they're fine if you want to play some casual gaming. I don't see any problem with having a Switch to do casual gaming. But why not the Steam Deck? Also, even though the Steam Deck's design looks pretty cool, it's going to weigh a ton. It's going to... Oh my god. Now we're nitpicking the weight. We're nitpicking the weight of a literal handheld. 
how much heavier does he think this thing is going to be? He knows that the Switch Lite is light compared to the base Switch, right? In a way, almost triple the weight of the Switch. Does no, does my man have noodle arms? This sounds like hiding in your in your room. That that guy, you you know the guy I'm talking about. The one guy he he like um he he's like Japanese, British something, and then like he he barely had the energy. I kid you not, chat. You're gonna love this story. Not really. You're not gonna like it at all. But he had this um plastic sex doll, and he could barely lift it and put it in to the box to have it sent back out because he didn't want to keep it anymore. This dude has to have fucking noodle arms. There's no way that he thinks that this is heavy. Triple the weight. He makes it sound like he's moving boulders. And can you imagine how heavy that's going to be? I think... Not that heavy if you do literally anything basic in your daily life. The Switch Lite is about 250, 300 grams, and then the Steam Deck is over 700 grams. It's going to be like holding a brick. Can you... <laughs> <laughs> my man can't hold a brick can you imagine holding a brick for hours and hours and hours you're going to be holding it for maybe no more than an hour max because you can set it down I know it's crazy you have the little stand thing and it just sits there it's going to be so uncomfortable and then the thing's probably going to get very very hot if it's going to be able to play PC games at medium or high settings it's going to have good does the Switch ever stay cold? I think most of the time, whenever I've used my Switch, it it doesn't get hot, like, in my hands, but it definitely gets hot, like, in the back. And maybe the screen, too? Trust me, playing uh, playing video games on it is, is more of a chore than it seems like. Maybe to me, anyways. And to be able to keep good specs running, it's going to have, like, a, a bloody fan that sounds like a vacuum cleaner. I didn't realize this dude had early access to what the Steam Deck is. I think that it'll probably sound a little bit closer to the Switch. It'll be not that bad. And then the battery life. Oh, the battery life isn't going to last more than two hours playing it. You know, I, I have I have to, like, take a moment. Because I, I don't know where this is coming from. Any kind of game on any decent settings. You want to play Red Dead Redemption or... First of all, if you play Red Dead Redemption on your Steam Deck, you can expect like maybe an hour. You're running a full PC game, not Smash Brothers. Or GTA 5 on the Steam Deck? Yeah, you can for like one hour until the battery conks out. That's why they went specifically with the best way that they could present this game in 800p at maybe medium to high settings. But again, if you're going to be playing games that long, play it on your PC. But it's mainly to take your library wherever you go. I don't know a single person that wants to play Red Dead Redemption 2 wherever they are. I hear that the story's pretty mid, but, you know, that's probably from, like, my very limited view. So then you end up just being tied to the mains charger with your Steam Deck plugged in. I don't know where my my little switch is, but it's here somewhere. I think I was playing Pokemon Unite for about three games, and I got pissed off because it's pay to win. And then I just never picked it up. But my Steam Deck thing will probably last a little bit longer, I think. I don't know. We'll never truly know. is isn't very comfy. How are you going to lie back and relax and kick back and take off your socks? I'm just picturing it. This is a troll video. He take off your socks. My man has a foot fetish? Not like our regular foot fetish friend? In my mind, the Steam Deck, 20% battery after I've only been playing an hour. Got to plug it into the charger. I got to find a socket. I got to make sure... This is a troll video! No way! Uh, you know, I don't trip over the cable. The cable doesn't knock my drink over. And then you're just attached to the cable the whole time. It's not very portable, is it? Not very portable, is it? Yeah, it's still pretty portable. I just don't really see the point of it. It seems kind of gimmicky, like they're trying to do everything. They're trying to make a device that caters to everyone. This literally caters to everyone. And as the saying goes, you become a jack of spades and the master of none. Wait. 
<laughs> Wait a minute, go back. And as the saying goes, you become a jack of spades and a master of none. This is a troll video. I Just sue me if this is a troll video. You just become kind of crap at doing everything and not really very, very good at doing any one thing either. So you can plug it into a desktop uh, monitor and have all the peripherals plugged into it and it can be like a desktop PC. But at that point, why don't you just get a desktop PC? Okay. Okay. All right. Listen, listen, chat. I know this is going to be hard to really process from what this guy is saying, but let us understand something very clear. The Steam Deck is not meant to replace your gaming PC. It is meant to be an addition of sorts. It's your, your Steam library, your games, wherever you go. And the greatest part is, is that, like, let's say that you want to take all of your Steam games with you to, like, I don't know, your parents' house or something. You take the Steam Deck. You take this thing, right? You take that, and you plug it in with the little dock sold separately. And you plug it in to, like, their TV, like, in the guest room. I don't know where you're going to be staying at. Maybe you're in a hotel room or something. I don't know. But you use that, and then you can play your games with your mouse and keyboard if you're going on a trip. How have we not gotten this logic from this dude yet? I I don't know what he's doing. Why don't you just get a gaming laptop and then... Oh my god. Because a gaming laptop is too big. You already said that. Plug that into a monitor. At least then, when you go traveling, you can at least put that in your backpack as well. And then I'd rather have a 15-inch screen gaming laptop that has a keyboard and mouse built into it. And it's like one coherent device. Whereas the Steam Deck... Uh, I don't know. It just seems like you're going to have to buy a lot of extras. You know, you don't have to. To make it an actual viable PC gaming Great. setup if you're guy. traveling. And I still think I'd rather just get a gaming laptop over the Steam Deck. Well, then buy one. I don't know why people feel like they are like being put at gunpoint to actually think that they have to buy this. Maybe that's just a me take. And I'd rather have a gaming desktop over using it in docked mode. So it just makes the device completely pointless for me. And it would just be kind of silly to buy a Steam Deck for my personal usage. Because I just feel like there's better options out there. So those were my... Better options? Which ones? My opinions on the Steam Deck. I know they weren't very positive. And I've basically got most of this information from watching a load of videos about the... He didn't watch any videos. If this is what his takeaway was, he had to have watched at at minimum two videos. Device. And I'm not really impressed. I think it's a cool idea. I like the design. I like the idea of being able to play some games on the go, like Chivalry 2. But you said mouse and keyboard, though. Or, I don't know, Age of Empires would be quite nice, maybe. What? <laughs> I'm not getting his logic now. Does he want to play games on the go or doesn't he? He's fucking all over the place. Maybe. The only reason I see a reason to buy it over the Switch is if there's like a bunch of PC games that are only on PC that you really like playing and they're just not available on the Switch and you don't mind playing in handheld mode. And you Does he know that Doom Eternal runs like shit on the Switch? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I probably shouldn't say that so loud. It seems very strange to me that these games that will obviously run a lot better on the Steam Deck. It, by the way, it will run better. Don't don't worry. It runs better on the Steam Deck. But according to him, well, I can just not do that at all. Hmm. Very strange. Curious, one could say. But don't worry. You got another bad video, which I, I, I say it's bad, but... It's about this other thing, a channel called Nintendo Prime. I know it sounds like we hit the literal apex of bad videos when you have a channel dedicated to Nintendo. It's amazing. By the way, I, I definitely am not doing a thing right now. Don't worry about it. So this is a thing from Nintendo Prime. 
Yeah, the eyes rolled into the back of my head that time. Valve's Switch competitor, Steam Deck, it's not a competitor, is targeting 30 FPS with modern, quote unquote, games. Okay, so I actually, I have an article for this, but I will present it to you when the time is right. And don't worry, the time is kind of always right, but we'll just take a gander. Oh, yeah. This guy is going to be extremely low. Couldn't handle. So it says, last week, Valve announced the Steam Deck, their portable Zen 2-powered gaming PC, that they promised will be able to run most games at 1280 by 800 although resolution do really doesn't mean that much on its own if you don't know what type of performance the machine is targeting. Well, Valve recently let out a few more details about the Steam Deck slip in a recent interview with IGN. And those hoping for glorious 60 FPS or unlocked portable gameplay are in for disappointment. You hear that, guys? You're in for disappointment. If you think that you're going to be playing your games at above 30 frames per second, it literally writes itself. If only that were the, the real case. The Steam Deck developer, Pierre Loup Grifoas, achieving 30 FPS in games is their target. And the now, listen to that statement. Hitting 30 FPS is their target. The target is 30, but most games will end up running even higher. Let's see the spin that him and PC Gamer put up for everyone to see. PC Gamer for a transcription. It says, if people are still valuing high frame rates and high resolutions on other platforms, I think that the content will scale down to our 800p 30 hertz target really well. If people are start heavily favoring image quality, we might be in a position where we might have trade-offs. But we haven't really seen that yet. 800p is obviously not a big deal to people. That's native resolution. You're playing on a small 7-inch screen. I've also said this before for Nintendo Switch. That's why the 720p isn't really that big of a deal for the size screen it is. I know our phones, plenty of phones are 4K. But I get it. Uh, but it's not really that big of a deal at that size. But the 30 FPS target is kind of a bummer. It's really not that much of a bummer. I don't know why he thinks this. Now, if you're wondering, well, Necro, what's this article that you may have for me? Well, it's actually right here. Don't worry, I have it. It's just, it's literally a click and a snap away. This is what I archive from VG247 because I'm not literally giving them clicks and I'm not turning off ad blocker. Here is VG247's article about how they clarified the Steam Deck 30 FPS target. This is what you need to run with for the entire rest of this video. So they went through the entire thing, blah, blah, blah. According to the developer, 30 FPS in this case refers to the floor of what we consider playable in our performance testing, which explains why he brought up, or yeah, why he brought up when revealing that Valve has yet to see a game the deck can't handle. Games we've tested and shown have consistently met and exceeded that bar so far. This is the minimum that you want to get to. Is, this isn't all that it can do. Of course, you know, the, the people, they're not very smart and they have to say, well, the Steam Deck can't handle 30 FPS. Time to cancel my pre-order. Herp derp. And we go right back into this weird, just fucking mess of whatever this is. Obviously, the Steam Deck is a PC, so some games will run better than that. But I imagine that what you'll be looking at for many newer games Speaking of which, according to Griffiths, Valve has tested numerous recent Steam games on the deck, and they haven't found any that couldn't hit that 30 FPS target. You know the glorious thing about PC gaming is that you can literally turn down settings if you want to. I know, it's fucking amazing. That thing where you can change like from medium or high or low. Yeah, that thing, that exists in, I think, like pretty much every game that's on the Steam marketplace maybe it doesn't maybe i'm just completely wrong who knows this is the first time we've achieved the level of performance that is required to really run the latest generation of games without problems all the games we wanted to be playable is really the entire steam library we haven't really found something we could throw at this device that it couldn't handle Those wait until it's able to play anime titty games when i get that that's like one of the first thing that's going to be played Yes, chat, you heard me correctly. Anime Titty Game. And unlike my Twitch stream, where I couldn't play Anime Titty Game, this one is going to be the thing that will be able to run Anime Titty Game. And also, it won't be that weird in public, I would hope. Because, um, imagine going out into the streets 
I've been keeping up. The Steam Deck runs a custom AMD Van Gogh APU with Zen 2 GPU, RDNA 2 GPU cores, cost between $400 and $650, depending on what storage you opt in for. All that jazz. The, 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 the one thing I really like about um, hearing console fanboys do talking about like this is they pretend that they know PC specs and how how a uh, teraflops and all this other stuff works. But when you actually tell them that that's not completely the entire case, you have to look into other factors, bandwidth and things. I don't know. It's like it's lost on them. Maybe I'm wrong. It starts shipping in December, um, and it's back ordered deep into 2022. So here's the thing. What do we learn here? Well, we learned that um, this entire article and you are both wrong. By the way, I'm not watching this entire 16-minute video, unless he becomes funny. We learn uh, something very interesting here. That their internal target is that every game needs to hit 30 FPS. Some games are going to obviously run at 60. I mean, we can't ignore this. Some games will run at 60. I'll I'm pretty sure most games at that resolution will probably run at 60 anyways. It's a 720p gaming device with a custom Ryzen APU. I, I would venture to guess pretty much every indie game. Oh boy, the indie games. The, <laughs> is he mean the ones that run on Unity or Unreal Engine? I, I think he won't clarify. Is going to run at 60. A lot of older games... You know, from, from three, four, five, six plus years ago, all those games are probably going to hit 60 FPS as well. I don't see what the fascination is. Maybe it's just me being a boomer. But I don't see what the fascination is with playing current modern video games. Because most of them are terrible anyways. When's the last time you remember buying a good AAA game and saying... This game was the complete product. I bought everything in one package, and I absolutely enjoyed it. Not very many, if any at all. But maybe that's, again, my very limited perspective. But what he's basically saying is that newer releases, ones that are demanding, ones that are um, trying to impress you visually, which is basically modern AAA gaming in a nutshell, you know, I, I was going to try to ignore his bad gameplay, but he's playing this, I'm pretty sure, on his Switch. And if he's not, then that just shows how actually terrible he is. But he's saying that it may not look as good as this. I can't wait for the comparison videos to come out. That That's my statement to this. Uh, are not hitting 60 FPS in this thing at, 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 at 800p, 720p, whatever. It now, when they first showed off the Steam Deck, they actually showed off Jedi Fallen Order when they were, you know, doing the thing. And even the IGN people that got to play it, they were like, oh, no, it's running at medium or high settings and at 60 FPS. Amazing. And then Nintendo Prime, a Nintendo-centric channel. Oh, well, uh, it may, it's not going to do it, guys. I think I'll believe everyone else. It's hitting 30 FPS. Uh, and I feel like we need to keep in mind when we talk about the Steam Deck uh, a number of things. And I, I think one thing that goes untalked about, because, guys, this is significantly more powerful than Switch, no doubt. But would I be surprised if, like, when the new Assassin's Creed comes out on PC, uh, and that, you know, obviously is going to be instantly playable on Steam Deck, because Steam Deck is a PC, uh, that it might factually look worse than Breath of the Wild 2 at 30 FPS. On First of all, why are we comparing Ubisoft games? Ubisoft games are notoriously bad at just being video games. I mean, if you want to look at the really strenuous parts of it, I think Assassin's Creed Unity was probably like one of the worst running games on PC, or maybe it was the most well-optimized because they use it as a benchmark to maybe show off how bad it is but anyways they, they do this thing with assassin's creed and it's just not good on the pc regardless no matter almost whatever version of the game you play so that's not a fair comparison but even if we were to go by that logic generally it would still look better than breath of the wild 2 i would dare to say i'll put my money out there for that i'll, I'll say that it looks better than breath of the wild 2 quote me okay 
on significantly worse hardware? I wouldn't say I'd be shocked. But here is why I wouldn't be shocked. Again, something that is being overlooked by a lot of people excited for this device. Nothing is being optimized for Steam Deck. It is literally a PC. How is it not optimized? It's a PC. Oh, I'm sorry. This handheld that has PC parts in it, not optimized for it. But what about the PC? Oh, well, it's optimized for that. Well, sorry to tell you, Billy. The, the Steam Deck is a PC. I want to be clear. Steam Deck is using what we term in the PC gaming industry on-board graphics. On-board graphics are still good. I ran Far Cry 5 with on-board graphics. Does this guy actually know anything? Onboard graphics have made leaps and bounds, right? Bro, look at this gameplay. It's dropping frames. It's not even like me. It's <laughs> Yeah, it's going to run Breath of the Wild 2 better than Assassin's Creed. And the latest GPU tech using RDNA 2 is going to be in the new APU onboard graphics that are going to be coming in low budget. Uh, low budget? Um, you know, low end gaming laptops. <laughs> I don't think he knows what's in gaming laptops. Valve themselves is basically saying that this that they, they've essentially come out and said themselves that this is a low budget gaming laptop in your hands. Well, because they're losing money on every sale. Like they said that they set the price painfully at the price points that they did because they're just losing money. They're spending way more time and money putting stuff into this Steam Deck than they probably should for almost no return. Why is he... Why, just review your Nintendo Switch. Well, low-budget gaming laptops really struggle to run games, even on low settings, at 60 FPS. It just... One of my Dell laptops was able to run an MMO RPG. And that was like a... When did I get that laptop? Holy shit. That was like in 2008. Yeah, that was like in 2008. I got this this laptop from, from Dell. I know, crazy. And I was able to run a good number of games on it. And it was not a gaming laptop. Is he out of his mind? It just doesn't really happen. It's one of the um, things you trade off. For, for buying a $400 or really 500 is more so the entry point for the real low-end um, you know, laptops that you would consider gaming capable that at least have a gaming capable, um, e either a separate GPU or at least a um, integrated GPU that is gaming capable. Is you know, Max could even do more gaming than what he thinks that they can. I bet you this dude probably has an office full of like, just like all these expensive iMacs or something. And he's like, oh man, PC gaming's awful. There's no way that he has to actually think this. It's around $500. And like, it doesn't run games well. I know. I was on me for the whole thing. Don't worry about it. I figured it out. Now, granted, this is a newer GPU tech architecture that is not currently available in any gaming laptops at this point. But it, but it is, though. It, it is in gaming laptops. It's in the Razer laptops that are out right now. Actually, they have like a Ryzen 9 in them. It's not in gaming laptops? And even if it's not Ryzen, then it could just be... I don't know, the Intel equivalent. But those can't run games? Kind of 
underscores the fact that if Valve themselves is saying, "Hey, when we throw new, you know, newer games at this, new, uh, you know, current releases, upcoming releases at this thing, it hits 30 FPS." That's not impressive. It actually is. Uh, that's not. It, 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 it's showing the one limitation of this platform is that nothing on PC is optimized for this hardware. What? See, what happens with Switch is if you want to bring your game to Switch, you need to optimize your game to run on that platform. Some optimizations are better than others, but you need to optimize the game specifically for that target of hardware to release on it. PC hardware is versatile. You can release it and then they will have some for the drivers why are we acting like this is a hard thing to do this is an open platform oh well thanks for telling me that makes it easier to optimize thanks because it's just a laptop in a different form right that's but you said that you'd be better getting a gaming laptop so is it a laptop or is it not Let's just call this what it is this is a laptop in a different form and because of that, it's just going to run the same games that release on everything else. So any sort of high-end AAA release is not going to run very well on this thing. Will it? But it's a PC. It doesn't have to run at ultra settings. Why does he think that every game has to be real life on the Steam Deck? He's setting these expectations crazy high to only then be disappointed later. Will it hit 30 FPS? Absolutely. Will it be a solid 30 FPS? Yes. Probably, although they did note, by the way, that some of the most graphically intense future games that come out... Future games? ...might struggle to hit 30 FPS. They're basically admitting, hey, you know, um, when we get some big AAA PC uh, game coming here in the next year or two, it's possible that it doesn't even hit 30 FPS on this. Yeah, you should not expect every game afterwards to be 60 or 120 or 144 hertz. Why is he putting this in here? 800p. Like, they're at... They're Bro, you see this fucking motion blur? This is him running this Nintendo Switch, but apparently, you know... I, I, I can't. Just admitting openly, <laughs> hey, look, everything we throw at it now is, but we can't really rule out the fact that, hey, game's coming in the future... You know, you know, a year or two years from now, they might not even run at 30 FPS on this. That's a good expectation. I'm glad that they're very transparent and open about it. Um, and again, we there, there's so many considerations here. I'm not trying to put the Steam Deck down. Except that you're not giving it any type of leeway whatsoever. The Steam Deck is great. But it has the problem that every low-end laptop has, and that's that games aren't optimized for the low-end. Okay, challenge chat. I want you to find any game, any game anywhere, and I want you to run it as poorly as you can. And I, I want you to tell me if your experience is hindered by this. If it's not, then congratulations, you're a real gamer. If you play any game and you say, man, this game's not optimized, find me those games. Like, there's a bunch of games that aren't optimized, but one in particular, you know what? Hang on, I just remembered a game. One game in particular that is not optimized for PC that I can tell you right now is Burnout Paradise Remastered. Look it up. They're optimized for essentially PC games, for those who know PC game development. They, they generally target the largest market what? Um, of hardware for PC, which is essentially middle-of-the-road gaming computers, right? <laughs> He's, this dude's trolling. I don't believe you. This isn't a real video. This, this can't be a real video. You, they're expecting you to have middle-of-the-road hardware. But no one can upgrade right now, so why would they do that? Middle-of-the-road computers. Ones that have dedicated GPUs. Now 
Sorry, I was looking around hypothetically about things that I don't think he knows that he's talking about. Not onboard graphic GPUs. Ones that are, um, you know, basically cost about at least, you know, at MSRP, if you can get it at MSRP, around $800 to build, $800 to 1000 you know, Yo, what is this gameplay? What is he doing? You know, you, know, you, you get like a $1,200 laptop, something like that. That's kind of sort of what they are targeting uh, if you look at just you know, the, the, the most common resolutions and GPUs on Steam. Yeah, they're older, but they're, 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 they're I, I just want this to be clear to people. I want this to be clear to people that I don't know what I'm talking about, of course. So, if you paid attention to the Steam survey, wasn't it, I, if, no, correct me, because I could be wrong, but wasn't 720p one of the most played at resolutions next to like 1080p? And then underneath that was like 1440 or maybe 4K. Like it, it, it goes really strange. It's one of those things where 720p is like, that's the thing you want to game at. Because you get more frames and people would rather prefer their frames over resolution any day of the week. But I don't think, listen, I was going to say the Essler, soy boy Nintendo man here. Yeah, I think that's what it was. 1080p or 6 or 768p because it's the most common resolution for laptops is 768p but again don't mention that around the nintendo guy he might get pretty upset i know it feels like i'm shitting on the steam deck you are if you're excited for this device be excited great i i have one pre-ordered five dollars poggers you have a good night, five geese. Geese? Yes? Geos? One of those things? Have a good night, Billy. I'm just trying to set the expectations realistically. And realistically? He's not almost said anything that is right whatsoever. And that is what Valve is doing here. If people value high frame rates and resolution of the platforms, current content will scale down to 800p at 30 hertz. Re minimum really well but if future games start heavily favoring image quality yeah there's going to be some trade-offs and at some point we might not hit 30 fps like 30 fps is the oh my god remember the article remember the article chat 30 fps is the minimum that's where they said the floor is 30 they're telling you right now this machine is just hitting 30 fps with some of the most demanding games and at the floor what do you think the settings of those demanding games are set at do you think they're saying oh it's hitting 30 fps running on high settings no y yeah <laughs> no they're they're going in there and saying look when we put the most demanding game on here and we set it to the low settings it hits 30 fps <laughs> that's not what they said at all oh my god Nintendo Prime, that's not what they said at all. That's acceptable to us. And you know, chat, one day, I'm going to start up a stream here, and we're going to sit, and we're going to chat about this. I want to have you on, Adam. At, at some point, I need to get you in here. I, I feel like you're the, you're the guy for this monumental task of whatever this is. I, I don't know what this video is at this point. Every game that comes to the platform is going to run and hit at least 30 FPS. At least? Well, thank goodness you said something right. I, I'm i sorry. I'm not excited by that. And by the way... At 30 FPS minimum? You're not excited? Huh? I'm not sitting here touting Switch over this device. I, yes. I want to be clear here. Switch struggles to hit 30 FPS in some games. This game. This game you're playing. We see it in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which, by the way, is a Warriors game issue. That Warriors has FPS issues on, like, everything. It's, it's Maybe it's because of all of the things on screen. It's dumb. I don't know why they haven't overhauled this engine. Or at least, get, like, try it a different engine. How about a brand new engine for War Because it's not that simple. You can't just drop assets into an engine and then say, well, the work's done. We got a whole new engine. Guys, time to ship it. Uh, do, do, do Nintendo fanboys know how video games are made? Warriors games, Team Ninja. Come on, man. It's time to get off this ancient hardware. Or this ancient 
not hardware, I guess a- a- ancient, you know, iteration of um, game developing you're doing for Warriors games. But we've seen it. Nintendo, some Nintendo games have struggled to hit 30. We've obviously seen many Nintendo games struggle to hit 60. Which ones? So, like, we know, right? Switch is weak. It's weak as hell in 2021. Because it's using a mobile GPU. The little Tegra thing, the little Tegra chip, that's it. But, oh, jeez. We know it. I think Nintendo's making a mistake with the Switch OLED not having it be more powerful. No, because you know what? If I were Nintendo, this is this is my hot take. I hope you guys are ready for this one. I'm glad that Nintendo's releasing the, the Nintendo Switch OLED model. It's very simple. If I were Nintendo... If I were Nintendo, sorry. If I were Nintendo, I would keep selling that shit because I know that Nintendrones like Homeboy here are going to keep buying it. I wouldn't fucking stop. Are you kidding me? I'd make as much money as I could from this dude. Oh, well, the Switch is portable and you can play all my AAA games. Not that great, but it's it's better because it's optimized. Yeah, I can't wait to... St- <laughs> I can't wait to steal money from this dude's pocket. I, I just... I really, I really hope that this is not what he really thinks. We all know the Switch is weak. But we play for the games, right? There are exponent, sorry, exponential, exponentially more games on Steam as a marketplace than there is for the Nintendo Switch. And even if those don't suit you, guess what? You can put Windows on it, and then you can play any game because it is a beefy emulation system. We buy hardware for the games, so the. So why can't you buy a Steam Deck to play PC games? The big thing that Steam Deck obviously is always going to have going for it is it has a massive library of games that is going to be bigger than any platform in existence. One, because literally you can emulate it, you know, everything up through Switch. Number two, um, yeah, you have the entire PC gaming library going back to the beginning of PC gaming. Well, there you go. That's a pretty big net benefit if someone wants to buy a Steam Deck. What's the problem here? I feel like there's a but about to show up. So there's obviously a massive library to draw on for this device, and that is an advantage for a Steam Deck. And that could be, you know, if you're just someone who plays older games, you know, this could be fine. This this could be absolutely fine for you if you're someone who just plays older games. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. This is just me spitballing to the wind here. Switch, obviously... Um, you know, it's only advantage, you know, is that, Hey, it has exclusive games built for the platform. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and you can't get those games, you know, necessarily in the best form on PC. I'm actually going to be curious. Wait, so are we worried about piracy now? Did we just switch from, it's not going to be that powerful to piracy? Um, I've seen some of the comparable, like the Aya Neo as an example, I've seen it run switch emulators. Uh, and while it runs a Switch emulator fine and it plays Switch games, I haven't seen those Switch games really necessarily running at 60 FPS. Uh, um, by the way, this video is pretty recent, as you can tell, because the Steam Deck is a thing. But does he know that Yuzu is slowly getting better? I know some people use Yuzu, but some other people use something else. Um, if you find it on a legal website. But... Almost every game I've played through the emulator, it's at 60 FPS. Like, like every fucking game. And you can you can mod it to run at any resolution. Um, I could be wrong on that front, but from what I... No, you are wrong. I have seen a videos of it. The Switch games aren't hitting 60 FPS, which, you know, is what it is. All I know is this hardware is nice. But the mitigating factor is that nothing is going to be made specifically for it. Because it's a PC. What do you mean nothing's going to be made for it? And because of that, it's always going to suffer at getting the low end of the stick. This device is way more capable than 30 FPS in the latest AAA games. Well, that's good because it's 30 FPS minimum. If companies want to optimize for it. But they won't. Because why wouldn't they? A PC 
and it's open architecture on an open platform. Okay, so if people can't figure it out, then the modding community will. I'm not seeing a negative here. So because of that, it's never going to be optimized for it. The one advantage of consoles is things are always optimized for that specific hardware on that device. <laughs> I think someone needs to wake Homeboy up and tell him about uh, literally any game that's moving from the PS4 to the PS5. It, it doesn't work that way, sweaty. You need a patch to get all that good shit out there. And sometimes, sometimes, it can hamper all of your performance. Sometimes they're poorly optimized. But, but wait, so they can't be poorly optimized on the Steam Deck? But they are optimized. Wait, so they can't be poorly optimized on the Steam Deck. But they can be poorly optimized for consoles, and that's okay. N Nintendo Prime, ladies and gentlemen. On PC, it's a crapshoot. Some what do you mean? Hardware is just going to run things better than others. It is what it is. This hardware is going to run AAA games at 30 FPS. The PS5 runs games better than the PS4. Wow, we we really changed up this argument there. And for most, some people, that's going to be fine. For me as a PC gamer... Dude, the whole reason I PC game is to get higher FPS, so... But why are you playing Wolfenstein on the Switch, then? Oh, this thing already didn't really interest me much at 60 hertz, let alone let alone running, like, modern games at 30. 60 hertz is unacceptable to you? Um, I, I get it, those 400 bucks. What do you expect for 400, right? I, I expect a thing that plays game. You know, it kind of reminds me of Cyberpunk 2077, when people were like, man... What are you going to do if this game is, is not as good as people say? I don't know. I, I paid money for it, and I expect video game. And I'll just say I got video game. Just be happy it runs everything, I guess, at that price point. Um, but, I mean, games are going to look better on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Just a fact. Over PC? It's going to look better. They're a more powerful platform. Similar pricing. Can't take them on the go, though. Oh, for, for the Steam Deck. I was about to say, there's, there's no way this dude's actually making up this argument. Well, yeah, they're consoles. They're home consoles. And like you said, you can't take them everywhere. So why are we bringing this up? It's a huge advantage. It's the advantage Switch has. And it's going to be an advantage of this. What the market is for this, I don't know. I think maybe, again, they're just trying to get people who weren't into PC gaming into PC gaming. I think there's a big market they could tap into by doing that, by making PC gaming accessible. But I'm very curious, if you are a current PC gamer that that plays a lot of modern titles, are you interested in this device? Yes. Now that you know, your modern title might run at low settings at 30 FPS. I don't care. Are you interested still in the Steam Deck? And if you are... Cool. I get why you are. Play your game anywhere. Well, 30 FPS is still better than 0 FPS, like not being able to play. <sighs> By the way, remember the <laughs> remember the article chat? Literally, the floor is 30 FPS. Every game that they've tested has not dipped below 30. Get on the go. Totally can understand that argument. But I'm just curious. As a PC gamer myself, I ain't really interested in going below 60. Then don't buy it. What? That's the whole reason I am a PC gamer. So I know everything that I run on my PC is going to be over 60 FPS. Really? We we think that that's going to be a thing? You think they're going to finish Cyberbug? Probably not. Let, let's be real about the situation. I don't think that they're going to finish anything. So I saved specifically at this one point in Cyberpunk 2077 where, where every time I spawn in, there's a light post. And it's at like the corner of the street and it's always usually at night. And I spawn in every single time. And it's not fixed. All of the patches, they're not fixing it. I don't think that I need to really worry about it all that much it's the weirdest thing ever but i don't know this this was a a fun a fun something i don't know what we really call it but 
I did have fun regardless. I, I love doing the thing. I think what I'm going to do is use like the other layout for this. And I the other layout, by the way, is like the old Twitch one. And here on YouTube, what I'll do is I'll stream here on the main channel, move everything over to the Necro Archiver, which uh, I, I think there's a link. But if not, I will put a link somewhere. But that's where you'll see this afterwards. But um, yeah, just uh, D DM me on the Twitter. I know I've had a, a hard couple of days, weeks, hours. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I feel like yesterday was last week at this point. I think I've time traveled a little bit. But I, I enjoyed hanging out and I enjoyed uh, doing the thing. Um, now, I will still cover. I will say this because I don't know if people know that much or care. But I will cover YouTube, AnyTube stuff, kind of. I say kind of because there's not a lot that I really want to talk about when it comes to them. Um, I can show you one that I found very infuriating. And you guys are not going to like me when I show you it. So, there is a YouTuber. And, and I'm this is, this is just a personal rant. This is like the last part. I promise this is the last part. So, the... <laughs> So the thing here is I went to the greatest thing ever. I found Tectone. You guys might know who Tectone is. He is what I would like to describe as a new AnyTuber. And let me go ahead and tell you that I do there's there's certain things that I don't like in content creation. One of them is this type of YouTuber. And you're probably wondering, well, Necro, what in the world are you talking about? Well, wait, I have a vague knowledge of uh, Tectone through other YouTubers. Okay, so Tectone is originally, you know what, hang on. I can I can segue into this by not having him talk. My mouth. Hang on. Tectone. So, if you're wondering who Tectone is, if you're just wanting to know, Tectone is a mobile game YouTube channel. That's what he is known for. He is known for playing games like Summoner Wars. He tells you how to play them. What you should do if you get, you know, these characters, six star roles, things like that. And it's kind of snowballed into talking about all these other games. And then he finally gets to the one that people are interested in. Ark Knights. Oh my god, he covered Ark Knights. This is how I found out who he was, by the way. But he tells you about Ark Knights polls, tells you what to do, strategies, and things like that. So primarily, he would make a, a very situational video, right? And he would do just regular YouTube stuff. You know, obviously the thumbnails are... They're thumbnails. But, <laughs> but what happens is he gets to a point where he's like, well, I'm done covering Ark Knights. He did this thing about Ark Knights is canceled, restarting. Um, which was obviously clickbait, if you couldn't tell from the rating. But the big thing was Genshin Impact. So now, fast forward to today. We are now here. We are here at Genshin Impact Land. So if you're wondering why this thumbnail and this video specifically are here, it's because he clickbaited it. Because on Twitter... He made a very weird tweet. I don't know if I can... You know, I can bring it up. It, it should be fine. I don't think he has anything lewd on there. He wouldn't want to get us in trouble, would he? <laughs> Alright. So this. Hearing someone say, Lolly, makes me want to puke, bro. Now, I have a theory, chat. And it is not a game theory. Maybe it is. You know, technically it is. So, the theory... Is that people that cry the hardest about Lolly or or th anything that is anime this much, even if it's just a tweet, unprovoked, by the way. Unprovoked, he says, I hate Lolly stuff. Anyone that does that is automatically put into like this weird list of mine where you need to keep an eye on them. I hope that I don't have to bring up the Fortnite guy, the Fortnite YouTuber, streamer guy, who um was doing a thing. I know, it's almost like you can spot them from a mile away. But of course, Tectone is one of those YouTubers where um, he... I could be completely wrong, and you can go ahead and hate me forever. You can swear off a of Necro content, I will not be upset. But, 
I will show you why I do not like anti-tubers or YouTubers like this. And it's something very, very specific. It is the way that they edit their videos, which is why I don't really do edi any editing in my videos almost whatsoever. I'll throw in an occasional meme or something, but I don't like to do this, which is, um, oh wait, that's right, sorry, I forgot. I, I muted the whole thing. I didn't want to hear him say a, a, a weird thing to me. So check this out, chat. Free period. <laughs> that's like, that's like. <laughs> Th this is peak YouTube comments. Peak YouTube everything. Hey, mi hoyo, sir. This is a Wendy's. 10K a stream? Great, thanks. Tectone is doing... He's doing a lot. I imagine banging my teacher four times this week. Wow, we... We, we really... We're really doing it. This is Tectone. You see this editing? Oh. Oh, it's killing me. This editing is beautiful. Oh, by the way, I only a mother could love this face instantly. Here, do you want to see another video of his where there's beautiful editing at, at least a million times? Here, the worst part of the Genshin community. By the way, all, all of these are clickbait. There, there's nothing really good about it. Real? Oh yeah, he uses a lot of Animal Crossing music in the background too, for some reason. Oh wait, shit, those aren't the voice actors. Those are just, I thought they were all voiced by the, those three characters. I was gonna lose my mind, but also, holy shit, the similarities are crazy. Okay, I got debated a little bit. I got debated, chat. Funny. Weeb funny. I love his videos. They're so good. And by good, I mean no, I hate them. Okay? AR-55 is a fucking travesty. It's a curse. Okay? We need more shit to fuck around. Can we just go on Reddit and read Reddit memes, chat? Would you like that to be one actual real life stream? Trust me, I don't want to look through Reddit. Oh, no, not just hope for a boss event that comes around once every six weeks for one week. Okay? Endgame is fine. That's copium is Fuck. Next. Decided to cosplay the man himself. We'll probably save this for Halloween because there's nothing scarier than losing money. Wait, what? What? Huh? This, this. YouTube. Do you, Necro Reddit meme review when? Um, you really want feelings hurt this day, don't you? Just do it. <laughs> Just do a stream, just browsing r slash Annie memes. Wow, that sounds like actual torture. Let's do it. All you did was put on a hat. He's trying to be like Tim the Tatman, but he has literally zero of the finesse that Tim the Tatman has. You can't be Tim the Tatman. God bless. I love I love YouTube. As you can clearly tell. Guys, aren't you laughing yet? This is funny stuff. Come on. Even the gentle touch of a woman's hand on my upper thigh makes me ejaculate instantly. Comedy. Now, again, remember. I just want you to go ahead and take take this screenshot, if you will. You know what? Here, I'll, I'll full screen it for you. Take this screenshot for everything that it is. And remember that he tweeted out, When people say the word lolly, it makes you want to puke, bro. Th this, this is the guy. <laughs> this is the fucking guy. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Oh, nice. Your ass isn't clean because the force. Damn. Yeah. Let's go beat really? the fuck. Yeah, let's go. Let's beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll go, my lady. Imagine the body count on Lumine. Not how many people she's had sex. <laughs> Again, I'm not here to tell you. I'm not here to tell you that he's creepy. I'm here to show you why I think. 
he might be creepy. I don't know, chat. You, you're the you're the geniuses here. No, no, no. DSP will always be the guy, of course. By the way, he's um. You know what? Hang on. Since we're here on stream, anyways, it doesn't matter. We're on YouTube, so we can actually stream him. Where's he at? Uh oh. Eighty-two dollars. Well, chat, you better get that up. Okay. His family's gonna starve. So disgusting in English? Shut the fuck up, you ugly dog! You just typed in English. Shut the fuck up! God! By the way, he can... Well, he didn't single him out, so I would say he can actually get banned for that, but he didn't single him out. It's okay. Damn, can you get your fucking weeb ass out of here for two seconds? God damn, bro! Shut up! I might cop... I love editing. I love the editing in all of these videos. Play Paimon myself. Wait, what? I, I know I heard this like when I watched the video earlier, but I need you to hear this. I might cosplay Paimon myself. Well, chat, thanks for coming to the stream. <laughs> you you really you're really doing that. Of course. I didn't even get to the most egregious parts of of just how weird this can get. Okay. <laughs> Listen. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is not a... <sighs> you know, th the face thing reminds me of um, Shroud or um, what's his name? The other guy that Tim streams with? I follow him too. Nick Merckx. He's trying to do like this weird Nick Merckx thing with the face. Just, just, uh, just fucking end me. Just end me today. Tech tone. How dare you get the dislike. But he clickbaited because of the lolly thing because he was like, oh, people are going to come and shit on me for this one. But what if I don't bring it up? Hmm. Very weird. Oh, yeah, this is, this is one of the stupid parts of the thing. This is actually one of the parts I wanted to show you, chat. Yeah, what's up? Tecton, we heard you were going to roll for Yo Emir. Just make yep. sure to call us first so we can rig your account to make the rates look good. Yeah, no, yeah, always. Yeah, because these these fucking idiots, right? <laughs> like, they actually think that content creators actually roll for this shit. It's like nobody wants to waste their fucking money on this dog shit game. Yeah, I know. I know. Tell the CEO I said hey. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're still off at the barbecue. Uh, is anything going on with Chi Chi or Amber, or is that still. No? No. I just want you to know how much I actually hate Twitch chat at this point. I don't want any... If I see any of these names in my Twitch chat, they're getting banned. Plants. Mm. You like the song, though? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, no, yeah, three, I'll keep streaming. Three, four, yeah, I know, I know. $10,000 to stream, yeah, that's what we agreed on. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep on pretending that I like this game. They're using the Keck W's. It's hurting my feelings. I can't watch this anymore, chat. Sorry. But yeah, that's why I don't like uh, YouTubers that are... Um, whatever this is. I don't know. It's very strange. Listen, I, I've upped it. It's Also, that's Muffer Guy. I upped it, and that's as much as I can get it. If you really want to hear his voice more, I can do you a solid. And I'll put it at, instead of 250... Uh oh, I put it to three fifty, poggers. All right, cool. All right, dope. Yep, yep. All right, okay. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. You know, for someone that hates the word lolly, he sure uses them pretty well. I don't know. Just, just you have to level with me here, chat. Can I put it to zero? Here, hang on. I got you. I got you, fan. <laughs> this this is the peak content I was talking about. Don't we love when we zoom in and we put all this stupid shit in our, our live stream thing? And of course, if you put your face and you enlarge it, that makes you instantly funnier. No disrespect to those that do, but I feel like Tectone doesn't have the personality for for this he doesn't have the personality for this when the doctor helped your mother give birth he said ah oh, bad take 
bad take on the baby that you are. Okay, show just show me your underwear and your bra. This man is not creepy at all. What are you guys talking about? He only made a comment about Lolly. But you should believe him when he puts out a tweet like that. You should. <laughs> you should always believe that Tectone, the guy, hearing someone say Lolly makes me want to puke, bro. Listen, <laughs> chat, chat, listen. I don't make the rules. I, I just, I show you the thing, and you can choose to believe it or not. I, I don't know. This, this is, this is levels. We, we have to have our own proper DSP stream later. I'll, if you guys want me to run down the entire thing of, like, tech tone, we can do that in another stream. <laughs> and it can't be tomorrow, because I'll be gone tomorrow. But I, I will definitely consider all of the options. If you want to, I have to stream him here on YouTube because uh, if I do it on Twitch, it'll be considered bullying. And I know that we don't want that, but, you know, again, my, my theory, my theory chat, if you ever want to know my theory, it is anyone, anyone that says something this sus, hearing someone say lolly makes me want to puke, bro. Listen, just just as I end the stream, remember, Tectone said this, and to gloat about having 20k plus Reddit, because he has a subreddit, r slash techdeg. Wow, we just, just don't, just don't guys, okay, just big ups to Sleepy Lou for the being a mutual. Add more Agus is not my mutual though. Feels bad. But just just remember, chat. Anything that you do in life will probably not be a content creator. I, I encourage you all to make the things that you wish to make. I don't want to discourage anyone. But at some level, just don't become tech done. I I implore you, do not become this individual. It will not end well for you. But um I, you know, I'm gonna do one one more last last segment shout out thing because i actually forgot wait it doesn't show anything in here what in the world okay i remember a little bit that um i love anime in real feet is it like guy rl for becoming a channel <laughs> a channel member and um and also for i think it was 15 dollars in super chats Listen, I, I don't, I can't pull it up because YouTube is actually broken. It's actually just fucking broken. Don't be a digi bro. Okay, listen, I, I will tell you a story before I end the stream at literally 25 minutes. So I remember when I first got into making YouTube videos, I, I, I saw all of these YouTubers and I think I was actually subscribed to, this is going to fucking kill you guys. I was actually subscribed to uh digi bro and mother's basement at one point because if you think about it how do you become a, a quote-unquote detractor of someone if you don't engage with their content right so i was like okay they, they make some pretty good points and then i think i kind of snapped out of the pignosis and then i was like i can do this and unfortunately i took the leap because here i am making videos and streams on youtube i know it's crazy but i remember at one point digi had made this this thing about about lollies being like the superior race of of anime character and i'm paraphrasing but he said this thing about lollies and um i don't know i think you can look now to to the present day and you can kind of make your own assumptions based off of that i think that once you get down the rabbit hole and you look at the uh, the farm that has um kiwis in it then i think that you'll um You'll learn a lot. And everything that you will learn is exactly what you thought originally. So, this is... Th YouTube is kind of abusive. But don't worry, I'm making a video on that. I can't spoil it, okay? But, um... But thank you guys for the for the contributions tonight. It, it is what it is, I guess. That's what the guy says, by the way. If you're not on the up and up, 
that's what um DSP says. I don't I don't know, guys. It's it's been pretty slow with like tips and stuff. And like I really need it because Jasper needs supplies. You you know how it goes. It's if you're not watching the, the streams, <laughs> you'll you'll know exactly what I mean. He's still at eighty two dollars, and Jack White is the only one to give him fifty dollars, which means no one's giving him money. Feels bad, but um, one of the things that I have actually learned this this is how I'm actually going to end the stream. Okay, watch. I'm going to end the stream this way by muting DSP first of all. Secondly, by showing you DSP streams. So when you watch DSP streams, um, this is this is a hint on what the next video is. The video is content creators and and the audience. Where it's it's on it's responsibility split between both of them, where the audience shouldn't expect a parasocial relationship with content creators like like um uh, for example this is why I kind of talked about it. it was like DSP people give DSP money to be his friend and they think that if they keep giving him money that he'll always be their friend but if you give him money he'll say that he's not your friend because he doesn't know you like that. But it's also on the content creator themselves to not to not shame their audience into giving them money or thinking that there is a chance of them becoming friends or anything more than that. It should always be a like if if you like what a content creator does, feel free to throw throw them like ten dollars or something or throw them five dollars. Who knows? I don't listen. I watch content creators too. I give money to like Griffin Gaming. I give money to um, Almighty Turban. Who's streaming right now on Twitch? He's doing a 24 hour stream. But it's up to the responsibility of content creators to not force their audience into giving them money or, or guilting them to do so. I, I don't know. Maybe that's my old way of thinking. But I thank you, King of Weebs, for the, pre the premium tier one. I don't even know how many members we have, but I think I need like five more and then we can unlock another emote slot and then i can add in the drinking one the vodka one's my favorite but don't tell anyone that also big up snake dude for life you're my derek a lot of you guys are my derek's because um dsp can spot out derek's so we'll talk about dsp later we might do it like one day next week so we'll have like tech tone we'll have reddit cringe any meme things that are I should do like a challenge like that or something like for every anime I laugh at, I, I gift a Twitch sub to or something. And then we'll do DSP one night. <laughs> I think it could be fun. It might be fun. Right now he's kind of, he's kind of sweating a little bit because he's using doll scene, but you know, whatever. But that's, that's all I really had. We'll, we'll do um we'll do a DSP stream next week. I don't know. He's off on Tuesdays, according to him. So we'll have to plan it on a day that's either not Tuesday or we'll do it on a Tuesday when he's not there. So that way the people can be mad at me later. So we'll see. But um, I might we might get Phoenix Rush in here because he is he's a more of a deep lore kind of guy. But I think that's all I really had to stream, guys. And I already went over the hour and 25, so it doesn't matter. But um. I should be live next week here on YouTube. And if I'm not live here, then I'll be on Twitch. And then I can at least do... I can do something over there. I gotta actually do some gameplay stuff anyways. Um, this is a... I think there's a begment going on. A, a beg segment, don't worry. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll sort it out. And I might go ahead and like label them. But I can't schedule the stream because it messes it up like it did today. But um, I appreciate you guys actually a whole lot. Thank you guys for the uh, for the new memberships. And also um, for the super chats as well, because uh, I'll see the positive benefit of those uh, next month. Whatever it is, you know how he says it. But um, I'll try to stream earlier in the day too. This was kind of impromptu, but tomorrow I will actually just not be here. So, <laughs> but thank you guys for for all of the fine contributions. But um, I will see you guys next week when we do um, I don't know, when we do all of the things that I hope to do. <laughs>